Hello, my dear students. It's nice to see you today. We have chemistry. Welcome, dear students. Welcome to our program for chemistry third secondary stage. My lovely students, take care and concentrate. We work through chemical equilibrium. This not all. We have also ionic equilibrium. Catch a pause and they try to differentiate between them. My lovely, concentrate now. My friends, it's very important to know about what? About chemical equilibrium. And we have a branch of this part that's called ionic equilibrium. It's very important to know the equation. It's very important to write it in a right way. Let's go to see our part today and concentrate with us. Let's go. Effect of light. What is the effect of light here? The light here is the other factor which depends on for the work. It means some chemical reactions are affected by the light. This happens as photosynthesis process is an example for that. Look and see. In which the chlorophyll substance or the green matter that found in the leaf inside the plant, in the plant absorbs the light from the carbohydrates and form carbohydrates in the presence of what? Of two things. What are they? Carbon dioxide and water. This not all cannot be worked without this factor. Photosynthesis process. Concentrate, my lovely. Carbon dioxide in the air start to move as you see. Water energy help them to be work to form a big structure which is uh, which is glucose glucose it's the simplest form of carbohydrates or simplest form of sugar that we use it in our food so here we have the sunlight that has some kind of waves these waves it's affected affects what affects the as a form of photons this photon it has what it had the waves. These photons work as the effect of the light. The light gives energy. Photon increase energy for this work. This work, it has main items, as you see, from 400 nanometer to about 740. This helps the plant to make photosynthesis. The particles of the water, as you see, start to fall. Light start to fall. What absorb all of them? This is the chlorophyll that found in the leaves of the plant. That's what the yellow color doesn't make any attraction here or make any absorption. But the green one, it makes what? It makes the absorption of these photons to change the chlorophyll substance inside the plant cell into what into energy and some kind of this food light now help them to start to work this is chloroplast chloroplast absorb these particles or this photon of the light and help to make the reaction this reaction for different directions inside the plastids we see cyclides as you see stroma from the top to help the reaction to work inside. This is called Kelvin cycle. This it means the reaction work to give us the main component for the photosynthesis. Ask what happened inside this cyclic space. So here, the stroma here that absorbed here by the catalyst, it's called what? It's the chlorophyll. So the chlorophyll here absorb the photons here to make what? To change these photons or change it by the photons into photosystem. Photosystem here that makes the chlorophyll molecules more excited to make what? To make the reaction of photosynthesis process or start this reaction. It's good to say that, but the electrons start to work from time to time. It means the light is important factors for the work, for the reaction in human, in plant, in all chemical reaction. Electrons escape and taken from time to time and help the reaction to work and increase the photosystem. Photosystem can be divided into many divisions. Photosystem 1, Photosystem 2, and so on. Now, what do you see? 
Here we have the photosystem too. For example, it has some protons and the electrons that lost by what? By this reaction or by the effect of the light here or photons. It makes what? It makes the reaction here between some kind of molecules like water and this water. It moves the or it loses the electrons to change or to continue the, the photosynthesis reaction. The water decomposes into protons and electrons. These electrons, which come from the oxygen, start to move from the place to another. Also, in this case, the protons evolve. Now, what it want to make? Want to make a piece of sugar. We need ATP enzymes. This is very important, which carry energy from part of the plant to another. Low energy, it means low electron. Photosystem 1 work for electron. Photosystem 2 work to proton. Both of them want to make a reaction to give us... To give us what? To give us the NADP and ATP. And they change into NADPH to make what? These compounds that products of what? Of the, of the energy that produced from the photosynthesis process. This reaction is possible to be stopped. Do you think why? Because all time you have... You have the sunlight. Good. This light helps for decomposition of the molecules, of the particles, electrons, protons, and so on. This work will stay and stay and stay. You work through the big factory. This big factory adds back to Kelvin cycle, which tells me the formation of... Formation of the food or starch here we have carbon dioxide with water in the presence of chlorophyll and the sunlight to change it into nadb atb and adb so here we have this is the compound of energy and the carbon dioxide co2 it's what it makes the cycle like this forming what forming sugar two different types of this sugar we have about c6 h12 or 6 it means a glucose or also fractals by the same chemical structure but the curve this war is not important cannot be happened without the main factor which is which is the sunlight and the photons of this light it's a good all time we pack to the work the main factor that effect for the chemical reaction light heat catalyst and so on my dear this reaction need a light light give us proton give us electrons during decomposition of the structure inside the cell it's great and wonderful look at now you have pieces of molecules of protons what happened for this here we have the glucose phosphate. phosphate glucose phosphate we like it it's a come from the electrons which is a form of form of what form of the the fructose and sucrose that form it from this reaction that called the photosynthesis process it means what it means the reaction between the light or the starch and cellulose that's found here inside the plant cell more molecules of glucose and fructose to be saccharose what we need to make big molecules impossible to be occurred without the main energy that we get it from uh, from the sunlight it's a good light it's wonderful to make a different experiment to tell me the effect of the light in the lab now we have different materials to work with it i present good a funnel and a huge one and put it inside the flask do you think what we work now here we have an experiment about what about some kind of what of the substance that we use it here the funnel that we use to put white phosphorus and we have here a liquid that we use it in this one in this experiment this liquid it contains what contains a piece of sodium so here the sodium here it's what kept under the kerosene here we have this sodium it's put it inside what inside this reaction what will happen here we have a huge reaction this reaction give us strong light and we ask 
this light, it's back to what? It's back to the chemical reaction, a piece of the sodium, and we have a phosphate. It means before the reaction here, give a special lamp. We can use it nowadays for different types. This light from chemical reaction. Now I ask, we can make a light inside the lab? Yes, we, we use it for what? For phosphorus plus oxygen and phosphorus oxide, but what? in this what in this reaction good to see that my lovely students you must know photographic films oh this word it's back to the light do you think that this what this photographic films it contains a silver silver bromide in the glat gelatinous layer when light fall on it such as films films of what films of camera that we use it in to make what to take photographs it's good now silver ion accept electrons from bromide this bromide ion and silver ion together convert into silver metal that what i need which is which is what which is a type of reaction by the effect of light here so we have another Think about what? About the effect of light that's called here. We have example. This example about what? About silver bromide. Silver, Ag, positive plus electron negative. I ask, this reaction is stopped? I think no. What happened after that? It will form. It will form an atom or molecule of what? Of Ag, silver atom. Oh, why? We say that back to accept of accept of one electron it's good to say that this reaction inside the lab my dear look at the other example we have we have mercury positive one it is mercury hg positive one ion plus or accept one electron from a reaction here we have a product here that found in this reaction what is the product directly we say hg it's good to say that Mercury here can accept one electron or two electrons, as you see. So the losing directly to be positive Hg. My lovely, look at this. When we have an experiment to tell me the different type of this reaction. By this fantastic lab, you have a different materials, tubes, beakers, and the work through the particles of the carbon. We do that. I want to see what? Here we have a thing. Ethane, it means what ethane? What do you see? Here, it's what? It is a flammable material that we use it like this. It's a very dangerous one. It is a type of gas that produced from the reaction here, and it is flammable material. What about this ethane? Ethane here, it means you have two carbon atoms which they work through six hydrogen atoms. So, directly we say another one, ethene. When we say two carbon and two hydrogen, now the bond is changed and the light also is changed. You see that? Yes, it's what it is. Here we have double bond between the carbon atoms in ethylene or ethane. So, here we have this one. It's another one of this reaction that happened here between two carbon atoms. It's called, it has three bond between the two carbon atoms that called acetylene gas it's a good to say that all of this help tell me what do you want i need the light the particles of the carbon as you see evolved it means the reaction is completed you have a light the carbon evolve as you see so you have a complete reaction We have another example about this. We have two H2O, that reversible reaction that makes what? Two H2 plus O2. So here, this is the decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen. So the hydrogen, it has positive value. What, what does it mean? It means here, positive, it means, it means lose. No, it's passing excess of oxygen in this reaction and they stay as donor. Look at this. Passing excess of oxygen, O2, and passing excess of H2O and raising the temperature. 
Here we have three things or three factors that happened here in this reaction. What will happen for each one of them? Oxygen, water, temperature. This it means you have addition of the catalyst. Do you remember this factor? Yes. We can work without this factor? No. It's impossible because it helped to increase this. Look, you have a lowering the pressure. All of them react together to give me this. Basing exists. Oxygen, why? Shift the equilibrium. We back again to the main word, shift the equilibrium. All of this work to make equilibrium. My dear, you have now? We have passing excess of H2O. Shift the equilibrium to? Forward reaction, forward direction. The concentration of the hydrogen is? Is what is the changing to the other direction. So the rising of temperature or raising temperature of the shift what? Shift the equilibrium to? Endothermic direction, forward direction, the concentration of the hydrogen. It's great. Look at this. Addition of the catalyst doesn't affect the equilibrium position. Why? We say the equilibrium here is a constant back to help both forward and backward reaction by the same rate concentration of what of hydrogen increase good to say that look at this lowering pressure shift the equilibrium to another thing forward direction concentration of the hydrogen increase we have another part of this lesson is about equilibrium but which part about equilibrium it is ionic equilibrium good to say ionic equilibrium look at this my lovely students it's an ion for the different particles in different materials the ion move and move and move the particles stay inside oh electrons move and proton stay this reaction back to ions when you say ion, you must say... We must say positive ion of metals and we have negative ions of non-metals. What is the ionization radiation or our radiation? Decaying radiation reactions. How we can do that? The first one, what is ionic? Ionic here, it means you have an atom. This atom has a nucleus. Now, any outer factor as rays you see try to attack the nucleus we see now we have the nucleus here and we have some kind of factories that produce some kind of what of smokes here we have radiation that we use it to make what to make uh, photographs of our what of our body so here we have many types of radiation alpha beta and gamma rays so here this is the nucleus of an atom what is this? We have two parts that similar to each other. One of them that called protons and the other one called neutrons. What's happened here? We ask, when the alpha rays try to attack any materials, as you see, it help these materials to work. And when it start to work, you see the first one, electron escaped. And the reaction is start by negative electrons, positive protons beta also try to penetrate the materials but the penetration is not completely now but the reaction also stay a work so the different alpha beta or gamma or different materials help for ionization why we say that because we work it through through the ionic equilibrium or through ions from what we have the nucleus that produce some kind of particles here that are protons or neutrons. So here we have the gamma rays that pass from any sheet or anything that cannot stop this type of radiation. But we have one of these materials that can stop the gamma rays. This gamma rays gives the energy to the nucleus and make the electrons and the protons and the neutrons that liberate from the atom. So the reaction increase, the proton increase, the ionic increase, catch it and degrade. My love students, look at this. Experiment to verify the presence of the absence of ions in some solution. Look at this experiment. This experiment we have, experiment number one, it is about what? About the battery. And we have some wires 
and some kind of liquid that called electrolyte. What's meant to buy electrolyte here? It's a type of liquid that contains positive ions, negative ions. And here we have the battery. What will happen in this experiment? Experiment tell me you have a different ions for electrons and protons and we see its effect. Look, this is the first one. This is a beaker from outside. The other one is battery. battery. What is the third one? It's the negative pool. Negative, it means? It means the electron source. Good. What about the positive? Positive, it's what? It is the acceptor one. So it is positive pool. It's good to say that. Ions inside the solution, it means electrolyte solution. You have ionic and covalent. Do you think there is a difference between them? Yes, we have a big difference between ionic compound and the covalent compound. Why? Because ionic compound, it has what? It has a different ions. It has a positive and a negative. This is its main composition, ionic. But the covalent, it has? It has a bond between types of molecules or atoms. That's what? That has no ions here. It has no positive ion, it has no negative ion. So, it is a big difference between them. Good. So, we work through the ionic because we work through ionic equilibrium. This, you have two different atoms. One, it has one electron only, and the other, it has about seven electrons. They are in E. The outer energy levels contain... Contains one electron. And it's what? It has the... Eight electron in the second one. So it's good to say that, but not a something. Chlorine it has only only seven electrons in the outermost energy level. So it needs it needs one electron to complete the outermost energy level into eight electrons. It's good to say that directly. We say you have ionic compound this will work through it why to be completed to be more stable between this sodium and chlorine chlorine is a negative need one electrons sodium is a positive lose one electron so this reaction happened by by the losing and gaining electrons between what between the chlorine ion and or chloride ion and sodium ion so here we have another one that makes what that we have Hydrogen that contains how many electrons in the outermost energy level? Just one electron, but we have a oxygen that contains how many electrons? We have six electrons in the outermost energy level. We need to make a combination between them. You think it's ionic or covalent it, now? It is covalent. Why? Because we have what? We have sharing between these electrons. But I see not enough. When you get one hydrogen only through oxygen, Contain six electrons, total sum of them is T7. What do you want? Here we have we need one also or one more electron to make what to make completing of the outermost energy level of the oxygen by good by the water molecules. My lovely, it's good to see that. Look at this. Test the electric conductively of the pure acetic acid. Acetic acid is a special acid to tell me that. So, acetic acid, the symbol of this one, CH3COOH, and of hydrogen chloride, HCl, gas it dissolved in the benzene as shown. So Look here. at this, observation for this. The lamp before the last reaction, last drawing, which we saw it before, in both cases, doesn't eliminate. Do you know what's meant by elimination here? Elimination, it means glowing here. So we have here the lamp in the post cases doesn't make any elimination or it doesn't light up. Why? This is back. You haven't electrolyte material. You haven't ion. Conclusion, tell me that the two... Two liquids not contains ions to conduct the electric current. We have a different examples of all the catalyst as as we have, for example, in biological. Biological as a what? Biological one in our stomach. We have some catalyst that used in in digestion of what of the food. Like what? Like enzymes. Enzymes. It is a catalyst for what? For our digestion of food that work as what that work as the substance that divide or speed the division 
of the large pieces of food into into small pieces so it makes what emulsion or its solution to make what to make the reaction by it small quantities are required to cause such a change in the reaction rate good to see that look at this the catalysts are used in more than 90 percent of the industrial process such as food and petrochemical uh, industrial it's good to say the petrochemical because it has a main factor for the catalyst also we have we have a catalysts are metals metal oxides or metal compounds so here we have different types of what of the catalyst different substance that used as catalyst in the chemical reaction it's good to say that we have a different examples enzymes also had the molecules with proteins produced in living cell act as the catalyst also for many biological process as we said before to make the particles of the food become small and change into small pieces and the speed the reaction without change look at this human body Human body is a different and difficult world. Human body contains millions of the catalyst. I want to know what happened inside the cell of the human. We see we have lightning particles, which is the, which is the food. So here we have the food that move inside the cell. And we have another substance that what that used to make what to make this digestion of food or the decomposition of the food particles or substance of food into small things or simple form of these parts. Good. Now we have pieces of the enzymes start to attack this food. Ask yourself, what these pieces? These pieces is enzymes or the catalyst in this cell. Start to work through these particles. And we ask what it work, what happened inside this. Look at this, directly attack the food and help this food to be faster for... Faster for division or faster for digestion. Why? Because the food, it is very difficult to digest in the form of large pieces. But the enzymes, it's work as the key and its place. So here, the key, it makes what? Or the hammer to make what to make digestion of food as small particles and change it into for example from the large pieces of meat into protein and amino acids from the large pieces of fats we have the types of energy if i have carbohydrates we have some kind of energy that found inside these molecules of food oh my dear we see the particles of the food increase for its speed and the <coughs> molecules for the catalyst be away there is no changing for this catalyst it means the blue one Oh, the food increase. It means these enzymes increase the speed of digestion without it being changed. Also in human, all living organisms work as it is. Dear friends, I hope to enjoy your time with us. It's a very interesting part about our curriculum today. Till we meet again, thank you and goodbye everybody. Good. And I want to say start well because we need to work all time. The work is very important. No chemistry without working. See you and goodbye.